Hi everybody, welcome back to our cooking show. On today's channel, we are going to be showing you something very simple, timeless, that is made all year round. We are going to be showing you how to make the classic Italian olive oil cake. And we'll show you just how easy it is to make coming up next on Love What You Eat. So I greased the pan with a little bit of olive oil and brushed it. Make sure to get all the nooks and crannies and lightly floured. And then I sift it in a bowl, flour, baking powder, baking soda, and some salt. And then afterwards what she did is brought to Stiff Peaks some egg whites, which we will then be using to fold into our batter. So these are the three things that you want to do first before starting your batter because these all have to be prepared and ready. Uh, once you get the batter done and at the same time as preparing these obviously we're going to preheat our oven to what temperature? 350. Perfect. So now that that's done we're going to start the base of our olive oil cake which is sugar, eggs and vanilla. We're going to be creaming that until it becomes lighter in color, a little bit more thick and rich. We're going to be adding the zest of a lemon, of an orange, and then afterwards, we're going to be adding in the rest of the ingredients, which will be the dry ingredients, the egg whites, and obviously the star of the dish. Olive oil. The olive oil. So it's a, it comes together very quickly. So obviously, preparing your station is always key for an easy flow. And uh, getting this baking, the sooner the better, because back in the days, my mother would say you would always have something ready for guests because the door was forever opening <laughs> and it was a revolving door from back then so they had what in how the, many oh in the 60s we always had to have or biscotti or pound cake or pan di spagna always some goodies Something on the counter ready. too yeah yeah to, to serve. receive our guests it could be family members next door neighbors it was always in and out it was wonderful <laughs> all right so let's get this going and we'll show you how to do the the banner the beast banner
So you saw us do the batter and then we went ahead and started to add gradually a bit of the dry mixture in with the olive oil and we alternated back and forth until it was fully incorporated. And then we all put the hand mixer on low speed and started to slowly incorporate the egg whites. And now my mother is just finishing by hand with the spatula, making sure that everything is well incorporated, scraped all around the sides. And we are going to be filling in our pan, our greased and floured pan, and into the oven it goes for about 30 to 45 minutes. Again, every oven is different, so pay attention to it until you've done this recipe a couple of times, then you'll know exactly the perfect temperature and uh, time for your oven. But we're gauging it at about 35 to 45 minutes or so. There you go, and we're gonna slice into this in a little bit. So let's get this into the cake pan and into the oven.
forward my favorite time of the episode no it's not saying goodbye it's trying food <laughs> So we have two forks and we cut ourselves a slice and we are going to try this delicious simple cake. We hope you guys give it a try and I'm whisper this. I know. I'm gonna give you guys a close up later on. Oh yeah. This is like a perfect coffee cake. Exactly like my mother said, there was always this type of any type of sponge cake, coffee cake that was always baked goods on the table ready to go whenever anybody came over for a visit and this is a staple so Salut. Salut. Oh, mm -hmm. You taste the olive oil, the freshness of the lemon zest and the orange zest, uh, it's very light. It's coming across so nice. Even olive oil and dressings, you add the, mm -hmm. the orange or you add the lemon. So you know those flavors go so well together. This is such perfectly cooked through cake. It seems heavy, but it's not. It's light and fluffy, but this is a dunking cake. I could totally dunk this in a coffee, in milk, just on its own. I would put a nice scoop of ice cream even beside it. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is beautiful. Beautiful sponge. It is so, 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 so good. Too good. Oh my god, I haven't done this once a week. I would totally mm. see myself doing this once a week just to have as a slice. Back to the 60s. And this is perfect because it's not very crummy. So cut yourself a piece. This could even be put it in your lunch or send it off with the mm -hmm. kids as a nice little quick bite. This is not a messy cake. That little bit of a glaze just for another touch. You can omit that and just do a bit of dusting of powdered sugar. Or wrong. leave it plain or opt out and mm -hmm. leave it plain. This is classic all year round. We hope you guys give it a try. And as always, what do we say? Continue to love what you eat. See you on the next episode. Ciao. Bye.